How's it going, everybody? Welcome to Ripping Packs. It is Wednesday, and yeah, we're just ripping open some more baseball today. And what are we going to rip today? Well, we're going to rip open a new release iteration. This is not a new release product, but this iteration is. And it just came out a few days ago. My Barnes & Noble, I was able, I swung in there after a quick little meeting, and I saw, hey, they had some. And what is it? Well, it is more Topps Update, but it is the Hanger Box variation. And guess what? That's right, you counted them. One, two, three. We're gonna rip open three of these bad boys and we're gonna go hunting for, well, whatever the hell Siri uh, Update's gonna give us. I'll see you in a second. Hi there, I'm Craig Michelson. And I just got back into the hobby after more than 15 years away. Join me as I reconnect with the hobby one pack at a time. Now let's rip some packs. Ripping Packs on Wednesday, and guess what? We are going to the Topps Update well once again. And yeah, <laughs> we're gonna keep going to it for a few minutes. There is the Hanger Box one, two, and three. And we are gonna rip open all three of these on camera so you can see what's inside of these Hanger Boxes and if it's worth your time and money. But before we even get to that, yeah! And yeah! And yeah! And leave a comment in the comment I'm keeping this comment amongst all my update um, rips lately. What rookie are you looking to pull? Obviously, there's J-Rod, there's Spencer Torkelson, there's C.J. Abrams, Hunter Green, Suzuki Seiya, um, and uh, Bobby Witt. Those are the bigger ones, but who are you looking to pull? Take those big ones out of the way. Is there a, like a guy you're sitting there going, I like this guy, he's pretty good, yeah. I said it before, I'm kind of, you know, C.J. Abrams, I think, is going to be a bigger deal because um, he's really a true rookie going into next season. Yes, he got enough at-bats, but I think he could do some damage. Bobby Witt, uh, Jeremy Pena, there's, there's a lot of some solid rookies. This definitely could play in the 2018's update as well, the rookie class alone. But that's if they continue to develop the way they should, which hopefully they do because I don't know about you, but... I don't want to be sitting on a bunch of these cards that are worth like a nickel. They're already worth like 20 cents. I want them to be worth a little bit more. Anyway, are you ready to rip these open? Great. So I already put down here what you can and can't get on the side. It's just the same, but just the odds are going to be a little bit different because of the fact it's a hanger box. Now in the hanger box, you have yourself a total of 67 cards inside. Yeah, see 67 cards. Yeah, and we're going to be looking for, of course, as they always tell us, look for autographs and relics. Now, I'm looking for them. I really am. I try really hard. Yeah. Actually, I'm looking for a short print of uh, Julio, like all of us. I'll take the short print of Bobby Wood as well. But, you know, hey, whatever. To each their own. I'm just happy to be ripping some baseball because season's over. It's time for the hot stove. Yeah. Anyway, are you ready? Great. Here we go. We got three of these bad boys again, like I mentioned. $11.99 at Barnes & Noble, meaning $11.99 pretty much everywhere else you go except for Walmart, and they'll be like $12.98 or some weird crap. Anyway, let's go. Box number one of the Tops Hanger Box Tops Update. Ripping packs. Three, two, one. Let's rip some packs. Let's go. All right. So, yeah, I, uh, yeah, I am a fan of hangers. They always have the bangers. Mm, hangers have the hits, that's what I like to say. Anyway, are you ready? Let's see what we get. Okay, and there's all the good stuff in the middle. Get rid of you, put you over there. So on the on this rip, like I do it lately, I'm just gonna show you the rookies and the inserts because you've seen the base, you know the base, for unless for some weird reason I get a really cool card. Yeah, you're, it's gonna be a lot of, uh, a lot of overhead. So, all right, and there's Will Smith, the probably closer again for the Braves. I don't know, we'll see what happens there. Now that Kinley's gone, uh, back, so let's go to the back. We'll move all these cards up to the top here and have our surprise at the end. I got Hunter Strickland for the Reds, Cesar Hernandez for the Nationals, Lucius Fox, rookie for the Washington Nationals. You're gonna go into the rookie pile. Yeah, by the way, it's raining. I don't know if you guys can hear it. It's raining here in Southern California. Uh, Chris Bassett, who uh, opted out of his contract with the Mets. Bo Brisky for the Tigers. It'll be interesting to see where Bassett uh, they, because DeGrom and Bassett both opted out. Uh, Brad Boxberger, Jose Azacar for the San Diego Padres. He's a rookie. He's Jose Azacar. Not Hazacar, 
as a car. He probably has a car too. Uh, Anderson Simmons, J.P. Sears, uh, rookie for the Yankees, now with the Oakland A's and was traded over. Uh, God, I'm trying to remember who they traded for. I'm, I'm, I know this stuff and I'm drawing a blank, but um, it ended up pitching well for the A's. So definitely, definitely did well for them in that trade. Jake Fraley, Garrett Cooper, there's C.J. Abrams, nice, our first rookie that we've pulled that I actually give a crap about, but C.J. Abrams, uh, originally a Padre, traded over in the uh, Juan Soto deal, and definitely, I think, a guy who's going to be able to take advantage of the opportunity in Washington. One of the top 10 prospects before the uh, move up, um, definitely a young guy, but he'll take his lumps, but I think he's going to be good in a few years. And you're going to go hang out with the rookies. Hunter Renfro, uh, former Red Sox and uh, former uh, uh, Tampa Bay Ray, trade to the Mill Brewers. Jeremy Payne, uh, World Series MVP, AL, ALCS MVP. He's, not, he's maybe finishing the top five in Rookie of the Year. Guy had a great year, so it's, that just tells you anything. He's definitely another guy to pay attention to. Yes, he plays for the Astros. He's good, though. He's good. Uh, Mike Brousseau for the Brewers. Anderson Severino for the White Sox. He's a rookie pitcher right there. He's a rookie pitcher for the White Sox, who just got a new manager. Daniel Vogelbach ended with the Mets. We have Francisco Morales, rookie pitcher for the Phillies. There is Francisco Morales. I'm trying to get you a little better without light hitting you. Uh, AJ Pollock, Jesse Winker probably will not play for the Mariners next year. Cooper Hummel, who I found out is actually from Mild Stomping Grounds uh, in uh, the suburban Portland metropolitan area. Cooper Hummel there with the rookie card for the Diamondbacks. He's also an old rookie, meaning I think he's like 30. I could check here in a second, yeah. 28, he will turn 28 in a couple weeks. Seth Lugo, we have Brandon Donovan who is in the top three for rookie of the year. That's obvious because they gave their predictions. Um, solid player um, and I think uh, there's a chance he could win. Um, but I really, realistically, um, Spencer Strider, I think, is going to end up winning it. Um, but there's Brandon Donovan, the uh, utility guy for the Cardinals. Solid rookie. Adam Engel for the Sox. Eugenio Suarez there with the Mariners. Bryson Stott with his rookie debut for the Phillies. There's Bryson Stott getting some ABs in the World Series and not doing too much with them. But hey, Bryson Stott. Trevor Story, our first PC hit of the day. Matt Beatty, former Dodger. Brandon Marsh with the rookie debut for the Angels, then traded to the Phillies, and was a good move. Was a good move, um, at least for the Phillies. And actually, the Angels got a, a catcher of the future, too, so might end up being a good deal overall for both teams. Ramon Arias, he won a gold glove. Will Smith, Nick Castellanos there for the Phillies. Seiya Suzuki, this hanger's been d decent on the base so far. There's Seiya Suzuki, rookie for the Cubs. Um, just, just a solid, solid outfielder. I... I was doing a little bit more research on the guy, and the guy hit a crap ton of home runs in the Japanese league before he came over, so we'll see if that aspect of the game plays here in America. Nick Pavetta, PC hit. Carlos Rodon is a free agent. Shane Boz with the Tampa Bay Rays. You will not see him pitch until 2024, more than likely, because of, well, that good buddy of his, Tommy John. Rookie debut. Tommy Pham. Steven Matz for the Cardinals. Good God, I hate it when they do this. Uh, Gabriel Arias, rookie debut for the Guardians. There's Gabriel Arias, the uh, pretty much a utility guy when it's all said and done because they're pretty much set at second base and shortstop. But Gabriel Arias, the Cleveland has a young team. There's Clint Jackson Frazier, didn't play an inning in the big leagues. Kirk Casale, Vidal Brujan, rookie debut for the Rays. So again, we, we've done decent on the rookies in this hangar, which is great. but. Uh, 4A guy pretty much this year. You, uh, Eduardo Rodriguez for the Tigers. Mike Clevenger. Jaron Duran, uh, rookie debut for the Sox. I already talked about you plenty of times since I pulled you, so I'm not going to. It's PC hit. Dylan Tate. Sean Manaya. Uh, Ryland, Ray, uh, Ryland Bannon, rookie for the Orioles. Again, my whole thing. Show you all the rookies. Inserts, parallels. Josh Stromont. Zach Davies. Rookie combos here of Penn Murphy and Danny Young. They're Mariners, and they're also rookies. And they're a combo, yeah. Remember combos? Those are pretty good. Those combos, uh, um, snacks, yeah, those were good. We have new tests for the West. We have Bobby Witt with his rookie debut here. Bobby Witt rookie debut, flipping a ball, signing autographs, being all Bobby Witt-like, yeah. I'll take a Bobby Witt auto, too. Uh, Tayo Estrada. We have the Tigers, Angel de la Cruz and uh, de Jesus and Elvin Rodriguez with the rookie combo. 
I mentioned it the other day when I ripped the uh, when I ripped the jumbos. I kind of liked it when Fleer did these. Um, maybe a little bit like more of a profile shot versus an action shot because you can see who the players are. Padres rookie combos: Robert Suarez and Stephen Wilson. There, uh, Stephen Wilson, I think, was the uh, closer for like a minute before they got um, uh, what's his butt from uh, Josh Hader. Rookie combo. We do have a red coming up. That's kind of cool. Maybe, hopefully. Opening day Bronx br Brash Bash. Reed Detmers with the rookie debut for the Angels. He had a solid season for the Air Angels. One of their outside of Shohei, their only other pitcher who, well, no, uh, the other guy who came from the Reds, he did pretty good too. Um, it's got a red here. Let's see what this deal is. Red or pink. Rookie Spencer Corkelson. Rookie debut. Is this Mother's Day pink? Um, that's pretty sweet, I'll tell you. Um, hold on. Nice, number to 50, 42 to 50. That's a friggin' hit, that is a friggin' hit. Yes, he did not do that well this year, because he was getting, wow. Okay, four, number to 50, with, I think that's Mother's Day right there. Spencer Torkelson, that is sweet. Big deal there. Brandon Crawford with Topps Chrome, uh, stars of MLB, going into the parallels, and yeah, are you tired of that set yet? We have uh, Michael Lorenz, and that's the other picture I was talking about for the Angels. Uh, rainbow foil there uh, for them, former Red, and a two-way player uh, when he was with the Reds occasionally. Let's see if the Angels will do that with him. Then we have Shane Boz with the uh, stars of the MLB rookie card. Shane Boz going into the rookie pile, and yeah, they're just gonna keep milking that thing. Julio with the stars of the MLB, nice. I didn't pull this at all last time. So stars of the MLB, Julio, sweet. Javi Baez, not sweet, but whatever. You gotta put some, gotta put some duds in here occasionally. There's Javi Baez for the Tigers, and then Ryan Mountcastle, who I like. Mountcastle, he's a star in my eyes. And there he is, Ryan Mountcastle with the stars of the MLB base. Then we have ourselves, Kirby Puckett, Paragons of the Postseason from 1991. The guy was like, just awesome. He was a fun player to watch. Kirby Puckett, center fielder back then for the Twins. And the last card is Trevor Story <clears throat> with the 87 tops base. 87 tops redux, if you will. But Trevor Story going into the PC pile, but wow, that, um, that Torkelson Mother's Day, um, I'm assuming Mother's Day because it's pink, but yeah, that's uh, pretty sweet right there. Number to 50. That hanger was a banger, but how will box number two do? Box number two, let's find out. Ripping packs three, two, one, let's rip some hanger box. Let's go. Seriously, that was um, pretty legit. Okay. Let's get you. All right, Ramiel Type yeah, is our first. And see if we can get a short print or a Father's Day to equal the Mother's Day. Let's go. Oh, I don't think we're going to get that, but let's go to the back. Throw these guys up here. Bryson Stott is our first rookie in Hangar Box 2. Bryson Stott, we talked about you, Bryson Stott. Jake Goodereasy, Jorge Alcala, Michael Pineda. Iri Adrianza, which I will keep butchering that name. Connor Joe for the Rockies. Garrett Richards for the Rangers. Aces up, that's DeGrom and uh, Scherzer. Yeah, that's a hit, because why? Adam Frazier. Max Scherzer, who is a hit in my eyes. Zach Grinke, yes. He's going to be Hall of Famer one day, and I just, he's my light hit box. Jace Peterson for the Brewers. Jorge Soler for the Marlins. Bears Bobby Witts. We pull both Bobbies. Oh, do we have a, uh, oh, we got backwards card coming up. Uh, there is Bobby Witt with the base rookie card right there for the Royals. And guess what? You know where that's going to go? In the rookie pile. Then we have Avisel Garcia for the Marlins. Johan Duran, or however you want to pronounce it. I don't know. Is it John Duran? Whatever. Or Duran Duran? I don't know. But either way, he's going to go in the rookie pile. The uh, pitcher for the Twins. Andrew McCutcheon. Brian, uh, Brian Lavastada for the Cleveland Guardians. Rookie catcher. Don't know how much he played, but well, I got your rookie card at least, so there's that. Carlos Correa will not be with the uh, uh, with the Twins next year. We have Gabriel Arias, rookie, not the rookie debut, but the rookie this time around for another Guardians. They are a young team, by the way. There's another Ramon Urias, we pulled you a bit ago. Uh, Austin Nola, V 
Felix Batista, rookie for the Orioles. Felix Batista, there you go, if you cared. We have Matt Olson here for the uh, Braves with his new team. Garrett Stubbs for the Phillies. Stephen Kwan, rookie for the Guardians. Stephen Kwan. Uh, looks like he's going to finish in the top three for the Rookie of the Year, which I thought Bobby Witt would have, but Stephen Kwan played all year just thoroughly. So, yeah, probably going to finish third, though, realistically. Tyler Wade for the Angels. Christian Pache. Eh, Kevin Smith, rookie. <laughs> you haunt me because I pulled some pretty good cards of you, Kevin Smith. And there you are with your rookie card. Now playing in AAA Las Vegas, but you know what? He's more of a glove and an average hitter, but an average hitter who still strikes out. No thanks. Either way, going in the rookies. Jan Gomes for the Cubs. Rye Mel Tapia, Tapia. 100 career home runs. Suzuki. Nice, Suzuki. Uh, uh, Shohei. That's a hit. Amir Garrett for the Royals. Dennelson Lament. Uh, then we have Jacob Stallings for the Marlins. Rookie here of Hunter Green for the Reds. And if you watch the channel, you know, yes, I did. I really did. Saw him in high school pitch, and I shot some footage. Yeah, I did. I, sometimes I'll even play it. Not today, though. Uh, Caleb, oh, we got a, oh, wow, they, okay, a bunch of backwards cards here. Uh, Caleb Thielbar for the Twins. We have Simon Moziotti for the Phillies, the rookie, who I read on the card when I pulled it last time, that he actually got called, he was an opening day, and then spent most of the season in AAA, but he started the year on, uh, on the big league roster. That's something, right? Chris Archer. We have Nick Plummer here for the rookie for the Mets. Can't tell you anything about Nick, but it is a rookie card at least. And then we have a bunch of backwards cards here. So I don't know what's going on here, but I'm just gonna flip. Good God, how many backwards cards here? That's eh, not gonna be a surprise, whatever. Uh, Edward Cabrera with the uh, rookie debut here for the Marlins. Good young pitcher. We'll see what happens when he's healthy. Matt Stram going into the PC pile, even though he's a terrible uh, ho host of a TV show. Taylor Rogers for the Padres. Joey Wentz for the Detroit Tigers. He's a rookie. Damn it, he is a rookie. Jordan Luplo for the D-backs. Brad Hand, who, yeah. Adrian Martinez for the Oakland A's, a rookie card for that professional baseball organization. Marcus Stroman with his Cub pinstripes. Jose Trevino. Andrew Stevenson for the Nationals. Joe Smith for the Twins. Rookie combo here of uh, Alexis Diaz and Daniel Quarte Duarte for the Reds. Rookie combo. Yeah, one of them pans out. The car will be worth something. Rookie combo here of Dylan Coleman, uh, Dylan Coleman and Colin Snyder for the Royals. Again, they put like 11, 12 rookie combos this year. I didn't actually do the math, but it's a lot of them. Uh, Desert Kuloff. Ron... Uh, Marin, Marin, Mar, Marinicio, or however you want to pronounce it there. I, I call it Marciano, but that ain't it. Uh, rookie for the uh, Yankees, pitcher, Tim LeCastro. Josh Harrison, another rookie combo here of Tanner Banks and Bennett Souza. They are pitchers for the White Sox, and they just happen to be rookies as well. Yeah, put them on a card together. It's a combo. Got Stars Collide. Roberto Clemente. Okay, so this has got to be a short print here, obviously, because why is Roberto Clemente in the set? Um, I think there was a lot of backwards cards, so I didn't do that on purpose, obviously. Um, I can't tell you if it was backwards, but there's Roberto Clemente, uh, definitely one of the greatest players of all time and a great humanitarian. So much the name an award after the dude, but there is Roberto Clemente. Um, yeah, it's got to be a short print. Yeah, it's got to be. Nolan Arenado there with the All-Star Game card, which the All-Star Game card this year is a... Uh, last few years has been an insert. Stars of the MLB. We got Jonathan India for the Reds. Jonathan India. Second year, he's a hit. Another Shane Boz. Lucky me. But if I got the Shane Boz, does that mean I have a Julio behind him? I do, I do. Got a second Julio Stars of the MLB card right there, nice. The Rookie of the Year, more than likely. And another Javi Baez, we already showed you, so I'm just sticking stick you down here. Pete Alonzo with the Topps Gold. There is Pete Alonzo, the uh, Topps Gold first baseman for the Mets, power hitting guy who's just a big time slugger. And the last card is 87 Topps, Sonny Gray. Sonny Gray just going into, well, the inserts parallels, because Sonny Gray is not a hit, but 
There's Sunny Frigging Gray. All right, so two boxes. We got the Torkelson, and we got the Roberto Clemente short print, assuming that's a short print, which it probably is. We've done pretty good. Time for the last box. And the last box here is box number three of Tops Update, Hanger Box, Rippin' Packs. Let's open it now. Okay, it's been good. It's been good. I'm going to be honest with you. I mean, the. I would have liked, I mean, come on, Clemente. He's, I pulled Ty Cobb in the jumbo. I'd rather have Clemente. I just loved Clemente, you know, his career and as a person. All right, and here is our last. Nick Senzel is who we get. Nick Senzel leading it off. And let's see what we get. I'll show you, uh, yeah, let's go. Flip it back here, and we get ourselves Bryson Stott again. Oh my God, Bryson Stott again. That's crazy. Uh, it's the same back card from this last box, so we'll see if we get the same cards inside. Let's find out. Oh, looking the same. Jorge Alcala, Jake Odorizzi, Michael Pineda, Yuri Adrianza, Connor Joe, same thing. Garrett Richards, same thing. Aces up. Adam Fraisia, Max Scherzer, same thing. Aaron Savali, okay, now we're different. Harold Ramirez, George Kirby, rookie debut. Okay, so we didn't get that far into it. George Kirby with the rookie debut for the Mariners. Guy gives me great Maddox vibes. He really does. Drew Smiley there with the Cubbies. Steven Duggar, Duggar ended with the Mets. Joe Ryan with his rookie debut for the Twins. He was the opening day starter this year. And more cards fall from the bottom there. Alex Dickerson, the uh, journeyman pretty much now. Roberto Perez for the Pirates. Geraldo Perdomo. I throw him in the hits because he's second year, and I still like the guy. I think he's a good young player, although Jordan Lawler will take his job. Uh, Rene uh, Pinto for the Tampa Bay Rays. He's a rookie, and his name's Rene Pinto. That's, yeah. I know you come to me for all that dazzling advice and information. Nick Allen, rookie for the Oakland A's. Shortstop, uh, yeah. Sergio Alcantara for the uh, D-backs. We have Drew Streckenreiter for the Mariners. Alex Fideo for the Tigers, the rookie for them. I want to say it was a first-round pick like back in 2014, 15 or so, but injuries and all that stuff just delayed. And the dude's old, too. He's, uh, how old? 1995. Okay, he's 20. Well, yeah. It's like 28, 27. Uh, Orlando Arcaf, uh, Arcia for the Braves, James Norwood for the Phillies, Diego Castillo, we already showed you, Austin Meadows, actually, no, we didn't, we did it, we had another guy, so I will give him his proper respect, Diego Castillo, rookie card for the Pirates, Austin Meadows, former Tampa Bay Ray, Nelson Cruz opted for free agency, Craig, Craig Kimbrell, not for long, but you're in a PC pile, Nick Senzel was the top of our pack, Albert Pujols is a, is a uh, hit, uh, Jose Miranda, rookie debut for the Twins. I've said it before and I'll say it again. The nep uh, cousin of Lynn manuel Miranda. You know, the guy who wrote uh, Hamilton. That guy. That's their cousins. Yeah. Adam Halsey for the White Sox. Luis Torrens for the Mariners. CJ Abrams with a rookie debut. So we got rookie uh, and rookie debut of Mr. Abrams, who I will take. And I will take them all day long. Kelvin Gutierrez for the Orioles. Luke Voigt, yeah, you got screwed, dude. Chase Silseth for the Angels, rookie uh, card, rookie pitcher. And he's young, too. I was looking at his stats, too. The guy's like young, so. Then again, he's a pitcher, so it means dick in the hobby. Uh, Ian Kennedy for the uh, D-backs. Eric Fetty with his City Connect. Danny Mendick, don't say that thing too slow, because otherwise I will just show it to you, but yeah, just you say too slow, it just starts to give that weird vibe. Donovan Walton, I do not know you. Uh, Helio Ramos with a rookie debut for the Giants. There's Helio Ramos. Uh, I said before on the channel, the guy spent like three seasons in Double A due to the, all the COVID crap and everything, and he finally got his cup of coffee. And he'll be a good outfielder. I don't think a superstar at all, but he'll be a good, serviceable outfielder. Rich Hill for the Red, the Red Sox going in the PC. Jock Peterson is a free agent again. We got another Eduardo Cabrera, Edward Cabrera there. We already talked about you. Um, that is your rookie debut. Your rookie is actually in Series 2. And you're going to go back to the rookie pile, though. Matt Stram, yet again. Taylor Rogers, Joey Wentz, eh, we talked about you. Andrew Stevenson, Joe Smith, rookie combos. Yeah, sorry guys, I already showed it to you. Rookie combos of the Kansas City Royals guys. The Desert Cool Off. Uh, 
the of uh, Ron Marisciano or whatever his name is, Tim LaCastro, Josh Harrison, another White Sox rookie combo, the Twins, the Twins stars collide, and we have our, it looks like we have an 87 parallel here, 87 parallel, Angels, Mike Trout, nice, this is numbered, it's going to be, is this a black one, I don't know, it's black or, number to 299. It's, I want to say it's a black, I could be wrong though, but because these wood ones are not always. There's the Mike Trout number 299 with the 87 parallel. Pretty good on the hit so far. Kyle Tucker stars the MLB. Uh, one, I guess one reason him and Jordan and uh, Jeremy Pena, one reason, to look, three reasons actually if you count that, uh, to like the Astros. A, um, they're solid players. B, they had nothing to do with the 2017 uh, Astros. So yeah, and they're good players. So. Kyle Tucker, I still throw him in just the base parallels. Uh, Anthony Rizzo, there for the Yankees, opted out, and then the Yankees are looking to bring him back at a little less money, but we'll see what happens there. Got Reed Detmers with the stars of the MLB. I swear he had one in Series 1, but whatever. Reed Detmers, rookie stars of the MLB. And you, Darvish, stars of the MLB. So our stars of the MLB kind of sucked in this one, but hey. Got another 80 uh, Tops Gold. Tops Gold. Royce Lewis. Royce Lewis pulled him out of the jumbo, but there he is right there with the base. Tops gold. Royce Lewis going to the rookie pile. And the last card, 87 tops. Gabriel Arias. So another jumbo box uh, redux right there, but there's Gabriel Arias with the 87 tops. But yeah, I mean, each hanger had a legit hit inside. Legit. So let's go real quick over the rookies because that's all you care about in this. Uh, Arius 87 tops, Royce Lewis tops gold, rookie combo, that guy, rookie combo, rookie combo, Joey Wentz, Eduardo Cabrera, Helio Ramos, Chase Silseth, uh, CJ Abrams, Jose Miranda, Castillo, Alex Fideo, Nick Allen, Renee Pinto, Joe Ryan, George Kirby, Bryson Stott, Julio, Shane Boz, rookie combo, that guy, Royals combo, Reds combo, Adrian Martinez, Joey Wentz, Edward Cabrera, Nick Plummer, Mizzuti, Hunter Green, Kevin Smith, Stephen Kwan, Batista, Gabriel Arias, La Vasoda, Duran, Bobby Witt, Bryson Stott, Julio, Shane Boz, Reed Detmers, Padres combo, Dodd Tigers combo, Bobby Witt combo, I mean, uh, debut, Mariners combo, Ryland Bannon, Vidal Bruhan debut, Arias debut, Shane Boz debut, Seiya Suzuki, Brandon Mosh debut, Bryson Stott debut, debut, Brendan Donovan rookie, Cooper Hummel, Francisco Morales, Andrew Severino, Jeremy Pena base, CJ Abrams base, JP Sears, Jose Azgar, Bo Brisky, and Lucius Fox. So we got like all the rookies in there except for Torkelson, which I got the good one. Um, and um, Julio, we got the, the two parallels, not parallels, but the inserts of Julio. For the hits, I mean, again, I'm loose on hits, but with you know with this, it is what it is. De what's Detmers doing there? Detmers is in the wrong pile. Albert Pujols base uh, with the Cardinals. Perdomo, Scherzer, aces up. Pete Alonso, black gold. Jonathan India stars. Shohei, 100 home runs, Zach Greinke, Max Scherzer, aces up again, Kirby Puckett goes in, well, you should be in the old man bet pile, and Ryan Mountcastle there. So not a lot on the hits, if you will, but I mean, when it's all said and done, getting the Roberto Clemente short print there. Again, I assume that's a short print because that's just what they do, but that is the pretty awesome to pull, uh, you know, Hall of Famer and one of the best uh, just overall human beings, uh, Roberto Clemente. Getting that Mike Trout, 87 tops there at the end, uh, number to 299. And to cap it all off, Mother's Day, Spencer friggin' Torkelson. Hopefully you come back and have a decent season, dude, because, I mean, yeah. Spencer Torkelson, rookie debut, number to 50. Pretty sweet. Yeah. And it looks good, too. Looks good. Doesn't look like there's anything wrong with that, so. Yeah, that's a good thing. Anyway, thank you so much for watching Rippin' Packs on this Wednesday. Um, yeah, I wouldn't be here if you weren't watching so and subscribing, so thank you so friggin' much. I wouldn't be here if you weren't liking, so you know what? Thank you so friggin' much. And notification bell, whatever. Leave a comment, and the comment was, what rookie are you high on in here? You could say Julio. A lot of people are going to say Julio. I'll take that Torkelson all day. I will.
But uh, yeah, Julio, to be honest with you, he's got the he's got he's got the future. Bobby Witt can be a big deal too. Bobby Witt can definitely be a big deal. But it's just a matter of uh, if the Kansas City Royals stay relevant. If they do, then then he's gonna have a great future. Anyway, thank you so much again for watching Rip Packs. Uh, hopefully, I'll be doing a. Uh, Hey, a fantasy rip league rip here soon uh, for this week because I kicked ass last week, so I need to do it again. But I gotta find me some good football to rip because I don't want to rip open what I have. Yeah, and I have to. Anyway, thank you again. Come back maybe later or come back on Friday and we'll probably do some prism basketball. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, thank you again. Until then, always rip some packs.